what's happening guys so it's that time of year again it is time for the 2021 rewind for those that aren't subscribed to the channel or you just are new to the channel and by the way if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel it's free takes like two seconds uh you click that bell it notifies you anytime i upload a video which is awesome and if you smash that like button it helps the algorithm gets this video more views gets more traction and helps us get bigger i want to grow the pirate fam to 1k we are so close to 1k it's ridiculous that will help that's the way to do it some of you astute observers out there might be wondering why there's a countdown up here yeah this cool thing is about to happen and that's the reason i put this as a premiere so it would time out right right about now i was born 32 years ago right now crazy right how crazy is that so if any of you are in here live congratulations welcome to my secret little birthday bash so yeah i literally probably will not be awake to talk to you because i like sleep but uh, i wanted to set it to a premiere just to be extra and time it out perfectly to when i was born because that's what i do since it's my birthday i'll put myself out there a little bit here is some some little wee me baby kind of photos for you guys to drool over a little bit all right All right, get that out of here. That's all you guys get. No more baby photos for you. All right, we got a, we got a countdown to do, okay? So let's, let's get to the countdown. All right, guys, so coming in at number 10, isn't really a find. There was definitely finds that day, but it was just a good day to get out. It's when dad came down um, during the summer and we went magnet fishing together. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> I made some corny jokes. We had some laughs, it was a good time. It was just a good time, you know? getting out, doing some magnet fishing with that. It was good stuff. So yeah, this this right here, you'll see, you'll see. I don't know something. Or a tie rod. Well, it's a cane now. It's like a tie rod. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yoda, you sick Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait, 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 get back. Get back. Right. Come on, man. You sick, Yoda? <laughs> War is not very quick. Great. Mm. <laughs> High five, dude. Get y'all nasty. That's good. All right, guys. Coming in ninth place is the bike I found magnet fishing downtown. Now, it's kind of unlikely that it is the same bike. But if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that there was a, like the first summer that I started doing magnet fishing, there was a person that got bet $100 to ride their bike into the river right at the spot that I always do magnet fishing. And I searched forever for that bike and could not find it. But I did find a bike that day and it's real hard to tell because it looked like it's been there for a while. It's pretty deteriorated, but like it still felt kind of fun that maybe that was the bicycle and I finally found it. but. Odds are it's probably a different bike that's been there for way longer, but check it out. Oh my goodness. What are you? Oh, maybe it's that bike I was looking for last year. If you're the bike. Heck yeah, guys. All right, guys. Number eight <laughs> was the trip, the first trip I made to Dad's during the summer. It was awesome. I mean, it kind of wasn't awesome because we got rained out literally <laughs> everywhere we went. The water was chocolate milk and like it wasn't that fun in that aspect. But like the camping out was fun, being at the campgrounds. Beautiful stars that night, amazing, beautiful, just beautiful, and it was fun to be out, and I was in the hammock and tried out the new tarp and stuff, and it worked really well in the rain, really ridiculously well. 
I don't know. It was a lot of fun just kind of roughing it like that and being out and kind of camping. And so even though we didn't really get to find anything a whole lot, it was a lot of fun. So it's on the list. Next on the list, it was the awesome like 420 like pot leaf Zippo lighter that I found in the next trip that I made up to Dad's. Uh, you know, water visibility was much better, but I don't know, just a regular lighters or whatever you find those kind of. But like a Zippo lighter is always fun because you know Zippo has crazy designs on a lot of their lighters, and this is definitely one of the craziest ones I've seen. It was just there, and it was super awesome. So take a look, guys. Ooh. Oh, man. Dang, that's nice. I wish I could clean that up, but yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's awesome. Let's get bait. Oh. <laughs> One of my favorite finds, magnet fishing, and actually the next two were back to back on the same trip was this awesome fishing rod I found. Uh, it was very fresh. Um, I actually just got tangled up in the fishing line and I found it once and it came off and then I ended up finding the fishing line again and I was able to pull it up. It, was, it hadn't been in there very long. It's still a very fresh rod. I ended up giving it to my friend. He cleaned it up and gave it to his son and he's using it to this day, using it for fishing, which is really cool that I was able to like recycle that and let somebody else have some fun with it. So super awesome. Really cool, just a, I think it was a Shakespeare. Yeah, I, I mean, it was awesome, check it out. Also, let me get this out now. Oh, it's coming. <gasps> we got a fishing pole, or part of one. Oh no, we got a whole fishing pole. <laughs> Today is so good. <laughs> Shakespeare. Dude, it's still pretty fresh. We can save this. <laughs> That's awesome. <coughs> oh, yes. I love today. I am so excited about today. Okay, like I said, these two finds were back to back. So I found the fishing rod and at the end of the day, ended up finding this two way radio for one of the stern wheel boats the uh, the River Queen and I you know those things get kind of pricey so whoever dropped that was probably really upset with themselves but check it out like you don't find too many two-way radios in the river it was it was I was excited yep <gasps> guys guys <laughs> bro bro Bro, I don't know what I'm saying, bro. There's girls in here too, but check this out. River Queen. I think that's either one of the, uh, like the stern wheeler boats, or it could possibly be, um, like a, a barge boat. Oh, yo, this is sick. Oh, we found a two-way radio, guys. Motorola. Yo. I'm so glad I came down here today. <laughs> that is dope. That's maybe better than a gun, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That is pretty dope. So this one was pretty awesome. I was pretty right about when I got it. This was my first day using the Titan 3800 360 fishing magnet. And I went out and ended up getting a some kind of I don't know if it's stainless steel or what it is. Some it's 
not very rusty it's pretty rust resistant but it ends up being a rifle barrel and it actually looks like they took like a chisel or something and hammered away the serial number and any information that was on it i looked to try to find more of the gun but ultimately didn't find anything else and uh, in the video i couldn't tell if it was rifled or not but i took it home cleaned it up washed it out looked down the barrel boom rifling so it was pretty exciting to find that and then i was excited to go back and try to find the rest of it but i didn't and uh i would like to point out that i apologize for this video because mud got on the lens and i didn't even know about it and i spent half this video just with mud all over my lens so <laughs> i apologize for that but check it out still a sweet find first awesome find with the 3800 titan yo is that a gun or part of a gun yo i think it's part of a gun I feel like this is part of a gun, guys. And it's wrapped in plastic. That's pretty sketchy. But this definitely has a profile of a gun barrel. Oh, goodness. <clears throat> trying to free up some of that. This definitely feels like it's a gun barrel. Although I can't see any markings on it so much crap in here oh it's so hard to tell you think actually if it was a barrel that it would have some markings on it somewhere so maybe not but i don't know what this is but i had a bag tied around it which is a little bit sketchy. Next on the list, wasn't a favorite find, but it was like a cool, a cool moment for me. I wanted to do it for a long time, ever since I seen Peter McKinnon do it, but I made some delicious coffee with some river water. I collected water from the Clarion River, took it back to camp. We boiled it in the jet boil and brewed a delicious cup of coffee uh, from the water that was just from the river. I don't know, it's just very, primal almost even though we're making coffee which is i don't know is weird but i had a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun shooting the b-roll you you already know guys you knew i put some work into this one All right, guys, I'm telling you, this next one freaked me out. This was on the trip, the last trip I made up to Dad's. We were all in the river, and I spotted something. I thought maybe it was like an antler or something, and I wasn't really sure what it was. And I kicked it, and it was wiggling, and my brother grabbed it and ended up being a lamprey, guys. If you don't know what a lamprey is, this is straight out of an episode of River Monsters. It's pretty much like a little eel, but they're parasites. They have this mouthful of teeth and they use it to shred through fish scales and they latch onto fish and just like feed on them, just like little parasites. And like, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if they feed on humans, but just knowing we were swimming around in there with those things gave me the willies, man. Ooh, I was creeped out the rest of the time. I'm not gonna lie, I was constantly looking around like, woo, please don't try to eat me. Crazy find guys, like absolutely just something I've only seen on the Discovery Channel before gnarly stuff i didn't know they even had these in the fresh water <laughs> that's crazy look at those little teeth they wrapped on you teeth in there is it lost no, no it's, it's dead. dead oh wow yo that's if it crazy was alive, it'd be going after you wow look at that thing 
Sucking all your blood. That's not that. <laughs> You're like, is that an antler? It did kind of look like an antler from up here. I thought maybe it was like a snake. Then he, he moved it. Then he moved it and moved it. I just grabbed hold of it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is the coolest thing we found. Check it out. Oh, let me see if I can focus. Look at this. You see those little teeth, guys? Leave a comment down below if you know what that is. I'll give you a second. Number one on the list, ultimate favorite thing, best top find of 2021 by far has to be the newspaper machines. You guys know they've been following. I found these newspaper machines in a previous video and I was thinking that was at the end of the year before that. So 2020 and I found the newspaper machines and I was like, how am I going to get these out? I really want to get these out. I was looking forward to spring. I thought about maybe getting some airbags, trying to lift them, move them, get a winch or something and pull these things up. Had no idea how I was gonna do it, but dad said he was gonna come down. We tested out the new uh, hookah system he bought at the time. We suited up, super cold water. It was only like 50 some degrees, I think, or maybe it was like 40 some degrees. I don't know, super cold. I was wearing two wetsuits. Uh, we hopped in there, we put these things in chains, and it turned out to be a couple of USA Today newspaper machines with newspaper still in it, and the newspaper in the front glass was from 1993, which is mind-blowing stuff, guys. Oh my goodness, I can't even tell you how excited I was when I read that. I was just excited in general because that was my real, like, first taste of, like, actual diving. With the and it was with the hookah system, so you know that the water right there isn't that deep. But I did sit on the bottom just for a couple minutes, just being like, "Wow, like this is a place that I'm not really supposed to be in. Like humans are not supposed to be breathing under the water like this. We weren't designed like that. So just to be under there, being under like ten feet of water, so ten or fifteen, and just taking it in and just enjoying the moment it was super awesome and it was super awesome getting these machines out check out the video guys oh man favorite find <laughs> time for this guys you know There you have it. That was my top 10 list of my personal favorite finds or just adventures. Um, it was a pretty good year. I wish we could have got some more done. There would have been more time to do stuff with my dad and my brother. And um, 
you know, but <laughs> the first trip I made, the weather was not cooperating with us. So maybe next year we can go to these places that we had in mind when we went up there that time. We had some places we were gonna go, had some cool leads that we heard about. So hopefully next year the weather cooperates and we'll get to these places and find some cool stuff next year. But yeah, guys, let me know down below if, uh, if you like the video. Also, let me know if you guys are treasure hunters or magnet fishers or whatever you're into diving. What were some of your favorite finds this year? What was your coolest things that you found? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know the cool and awesome stuff that you guys have found in 2021. You know, I love interacting with you guys and I would love to see the cool stuff that you found. All right, guys, that wraps this up. Uh, I got stuff to do. It's, uh, <laughs> it's my birthday, y'all. So, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. I mean, it's like, it's only 12.45, so it's not really my birthday yet. You know, actual birthday starts when this, well, you know, you were there at the beginning, but very technically, it's the right day. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of my night. Hope you guys are doing awesome. I love every single one of you. I hope you had a great year. Hope you found lots of treasure. You guys are awesome. I love you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Till next time, guys. Go out there, make your own adventures. Life is short. Have fun. Peace, y'all.